Here is where man becomes one with machine to ease his suffering. These machines receive human blood and vacuum the waste out of it. The dialysis ward of Tehran's Chariati Hospital is a haven for patients with dysfunctional kidneys. They hope that international sanctions imposed on Iran over its nuclear program never disturb their treatment. I don't think I'll have any problem here, and I believe that Iranian leaders will not allow any international issue to cause a crisis for patients like me. Medical products are supposed to be exempt from sanctions, but bank embargoes make trade difficult and all imports suffer. Iran's Soha Medical Equipment Company, which makes dialysis filters with imported microscopic tubes, is confident that it can sustain production under sanctions, but they're still taking precautions. Millions of dollars worth of the factory's products is stored in this warehouse and it's treated like a strategic reserve because they always keep the number of dialysis machine filters in this warehouse above 300,000. That means if they cannot import any raw material, the dialysis machine filters in this warehouse alone could provide for the country for a period of two months. Officials say Iran consumes $2 billion worth of medicine a year. 600 million dollars of which is imported, mostly consisted of expensive drugs for rare diseases. And government has plans to decrease dependency. Uh, I can say that uh, we are the leading uh, country in the region for manufacturing of uh, biotechnological products, the recombinant products. Uh, currently about 100 million dollars of products, of biotech products, is produced local by the local manufacturer. And we intend to expand it to about more than $200 million within two, three years. Sinovex is a good example. It's produced through a sophisticated cellular process and is subsidized to be cheaper than its foreign competitors. It helps human immune system against multiple sclerosis or MS, a fatal neurological disease that is becoming more and more common in Iran. These tiny vials carry a great deal of hope for MS patients, but hope does not cure the diseases. And while sanctions make Iran's road to self-sufficiency rougher every day, some may ask which is more feasible, absolute self-sufficiency or ending Iran's nuclear row with the West. Ali Reza Ronaghi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.